Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to make the presentation of the International Council of Air Show Sword of Excellence. And I would like to, as we did with the Scholl Award winners, I would like all previous recipients of the International Council of Air Show Sword of Excellence to join me on stage. The first ICAST Sword of Excellence was awarded back in 1981. It is considered to be the highest award an air show professional can receive. It is, if you will, the Oscar, the Academy Award of our business. The recipients have made selfless contributions not only to ICAST, but to the entire air show community. Names like Hoover and Hillard and Poberezny and even the Blue Angels are among this prestigious group that numbers only about 47 or 48 in the 40-year history of the first presentation back in 81. And tonight, it's my honor to name the 2021 SWORD recipient, Kevin Walsh. <laughs> Kevin grew up in the air show business. When he was still in elementary school, he was stuffing envelopes, he was parking cars, he was hanging signage, but uh, that was just the beginning. Uh, he led by example. He, he has turned his love of air shows uh, into something that has improved not only his own show at the Yankee Air Museum, but also uh, the air show business at large. He believes that air shows have a unique position in the entertainment industry to inspire, to motivate, to entertain, and even to educate. Am I right? You betcha, buddy. And uh, he believes those things so strongly and so deeply that he's committed much of his life to make it happen. He's led by example, innovating, experimenting, succeeding with his own show, Thunder Over Michigan. But he's also been just as active in advocating for improved entertainment, increased professionalism in our industry, and long-term sustainability throughout our air show community as a mentor, as an instructor, as a leader, and sometimes even as a constructive critic. Very important. Throughout his career, he's done everything he can do to improve his own air show while at the same time working hard to safeguard and promote the su and support the entire air show business. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please welcome Kevin Walsh. It's all yours, my friend. Thank you, Rob. Uh, this, this is absolutely overwhelming. Um, on the way up, my wife said, it, they usually give this near the end of your career. Are they trying to tell you something? I, I'm sure. And, and I would be remiss if I didn't thank my parents for the incredibly embarrassing photos. Evidently, they've learned how to use a scanner and email. So, I, in, in all seriousness, the sort of excellence, I've had the, the great honor of being on this committee and I always thought that would be my greatest honor connected to this award. Um, those that have won this award are heroes and legends, and I'm, I'm not exactly sure how a, a kid from St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada got on the list, but um, I, I am beyond, beyond honored. As the, the bio indicates, uh, I grew up in the air show business. Um, I, I was one of those kids uh, at five years old when my dad started uh, producing air shows himself and uh, sat there in that prickly grass waiting for the nine twinkling lights of the snowbirds on the horizon and the David Foster music to begin. Um, it was my Christmas. It was my everything. I would give up anything to, to be at the airport and be at the air show. And literally growing up in the industry, um, the, the business was in the household and the household was, was in the business. And, I'll share a quick story with you. Uh, I loved scheduling the military aircraft arrivals for the show. It was, it was my everything to talk to the military. I had such a, uh, a respect and, and honor for, for everyone that, that served uh, our nation and, and in America also. Um, and uh, I remember one day a, uh, um, an F-111, a major bringing an F-111 from uh, Cannon, New, New Mexico, and, and uh, he called, and, and beside the phone there, there was a schedule list, and it had arrival slots, and, and uh, I, I would run to the phone, the phone that was the air show phone, I would run to answer it at a very young age, London International Air Show, Kevin speaking, 
And I, I was so excited to, to be a part of it, just to be involved. And this, uh, this major and I had a conversation and I, I scheduled him in for 1635, arrival on Friday. He said, can I ask you a question? And I said, yes, sir. And he said, how old are you? And I said, I'm 12. He said, you're 12? I said, don't worry, Major, I've been doing this for years, so. <laughs> but the, the success that, that was echoed here by Rob tonight um, is, as everyone knows, is, is not an individual effort. Um, I have to acknowledge the, the hundreds of volunteers that have gone into battle with me um, producing shows. Um, some of the most incredible people in the world and dedicated people in the world. And, and, and again, I, I would be nothing without them. I would be nothing without the mentors, um, the, the people on this list that were air show performers for my father as I was running around as a, as a small child. Um, they took the time to spend with me. They didn't have to, uh, but they did. And they inspired me to do something in this industry. Um, in particular, the, those that failed, uh, that, that allowed me to fail, I should say, um, are probably some of the most important people in, in my life that gave me that opportunity and used failure as an encouragement rather than uh, you know, a, 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 an ending point. Um, and and they, they put me in those positions uh, so that I could learn. And, and of course, family, my, my wife, Shelly, um, I, I, I don't think you knew what you were getting into when, when you married into the Walsh family, but um, uh, she is my rock, she's my everything, she's my motivator, um, and, and I can't say enough about uh, my family and my kids and, and my mom and dad uh, for, for what they've instilled in me. So um, while I, I personally um, am, am humbled and struggle a little bit to see how I'm, I'm on this list with these legends and heroes, I will accept the award on behalf of the volunteers, the mentors, those that allowed me to fail, and the Walsh family. Thank you so much.